channel from RVing TV and today we're going to continue a video series that we started a little while ago. Uh, the video series is on road noise and noise in general while driving a Class A motorhome. Today we've been lucky enough to get a pre-owned coach access to a 2018 Precept 31UL by Jayco. The 31UL is a very popular seller for Jayco. It's a triple slide A-class motorhome. Uh, this unit has approximately 27,000 kilometers on it, so it's had a bit of mileage, which is just perfect for this series. So we're going to drive, and I'm going to take uh, several different angles. We have, of course, myself that you're seeing here as well as a GoPro camera on our actual decibel meter. We're going to use the same road that we've done in the past and that way we can keep similar experiences. I'll try to give you some readings as we go down the road uh, but I will post on the video actual reading numbers once I've had a chance to review the video. So uh, we're keeping road, uh, noise minimum inside the coach itself. It's a bit of a warm day, so there's the first speed of the fan running, which I've already checked and is giving almost no, uh, road, uh, no noise on our decibel meter to really speak of. So let's start down the road and take some readings. We'll reset the decibel meter. and we can see at idle we've been between 66 and 72 decibels but let's go for that drive We have a couple of speed bumps. We've just gone over one set and we have another set here. moment we'll give you a reading of our accelerating onto a highway and we are taking highway 11 which is posted speed limit is 90 kilometers an hour is to give you 
you an idea not only of road noise, but of interior noise. Squeaking, rattles, shakes, etc. Uh, you'll notice that when we were going over some of the speed bumps, it was a lot noisier, rattling a little bit. The different coaches will react differently. Now we're going to go down to some back roads that are on semi smooth surfaces to give you an idea. is 60 kilometers an hour, approximately 36 miles per hour. And we're seeing a decibel fluctuation, you know, that tends to jump from 72 to about 82, believe it or not. It's quite a wide spread, which is a little more than we've seen in a couple of the other motorhomes we've tested. It looks like at 60 kilometers now we're averaging around 78. So we are adhering to all speed limits and we're driving the coach the way you'd normally drive it. I'm not trying to get super low decibel readings or super high. I want to drive all the coaches very similar. And the speed limit here is 50 kilometers an hour that just started, so we actually cut our speed back there. And difference in noise level between 50 and 60 really about the same. very friendly person giving us the opportunity to go through an awkward intersection. This will be a little smoother road section here. And at 60 kilometers an hour being a little smoother, we're not getting as much reach creaking and rattling from inside the coach, we're still about 75 to 78 decibels. about this coach compared to the other three videos we've done today. A little more ambient noise inside this coach when we're driving. A little more creaks and rattles. Um, I would expect that especially compared to the Holiday Rambler. A little higher end construction in the Rambler. Tighter fit and finishes. Tighter tolerances. 
giving it an overall quieter driving experience from a, a personal perspective here. starting point. One speed bump. So here we go. We're back from where we started. And I'll stay quiet for a second. We'll take one final reading at idle. So at idle, it looks like we're right in about the 68 to 70 decibel mark. Just to give you a good idea. So I will do a little patch in with a recap after this video once I've had an opportunity to review the video and refine some of the numbers. But in general, it looks like we had a minimum of 62 decibels, high of 89, and we've averaged about 77 across the board. Most of the time, though, we've been in and around the 80, 80 decibel mark overall. Okay, so we've returned back here. Uh, we'll take a little reading at idle. And it looks like at idle, you know, we're fluctuating in around that 78 decibel mark uh, itself. Uh, tapping 80 a little bit, dropping a little below, but right about there. Uh, overall, we've seen a low of 62 which tends to happen when we quiet everything for a second. It tends to dip down and come back to normal with a high range of about, uh, was really about 89 through the driving. We're seeing 92 posted here. Really, it was about uh, 89. Someone just popped the door open while we were taking a measurement. Uh, I have phased that out of the video. 
just to give you an idea why it popped up to 92, averaging 77 decibels. At the end of the video, I'll post a recap chart with um, all the other units as well that we've done, so you can, you can see that, and we'll eventually post this on our website as well, rvingtv.com, and you'll be able to see that there as well as the links on the videos. So if you've liked the video, please click the like button. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So feel free to subscribe. And if you hit the little bell below, that will uh, allow us to notify you as new videos are posted, both, uh, both on test drive reviews like this with decibel ratings, as well as automotive reviews and just general RV walkthroughs that are coming up. This is Bruno from RV and TV saying thank you for viewing the video. We hope to see you back soon. Have a great camping season.